The action. Now, me and Dr. Pops here are going to show you uh, some very complex but brilliant fluid dynamics. Okay, it's the physics of how things move, how bodies of air or water move, okay? Now, the basic principle of the Bernoulli principle is that a flowing body of air is at low pressure. So go like this. You are creating low pressure, and the high pressure around here is going into that low pressure. All right, stop, stop! Okay, now, you're going to hold this upright for me. It's a hairdryer. Okay, like that. Okay, you ready? Yep. And then we'll have to shout a little bit. So, there is a flow of air coming out of here. It is at low pressure, which means it sucks things into it. So, all of these little flimsy bits of air are sucked into the flow of air. Okay, now, Papa Gates, hold that there. It's cooler than that. You can also put things into the flow of air and they will be sucked in there by a combination of the Bernoulli principle, the Coanda effect, the Mags effect. It all gets a bit complicated, but basically a sucking motion into this body of air. Okay, you ready? Oh, maybe. That's pretty good. Now you should be able to very slowly turn this away from you, away from you, away from you, like that. Okay, so it works very slowly and it will battle to try and stand a bit more, a bit more. No, no, come on, that way, that way, that way, that way. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, my, make it a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh! And finally, gravity takes over. Now, the Bernoulli principle is at the heart of how you fart. Because as the air comes through uh, your sphincter on your bum, um, it creates low pressure. So although the pressure pushes it open so that it gets out, the, uh, the low pressure created by the Bernoulli principle pulls it back again, because it's low pressure. So it goes like that. And that's a king you go like so you're using the Bernoulli principle to make a farty noise. Uh, now we're going to upgrade this to try and get it even louder than the helicopter flying overhead. Okay, what we've got here is an even faster hairdryer. Okay, this is my, my leaf blower and what I've got here is a, is a little sphincter here and Poppy's going to turn that on and the air will be pushed out of, out of here but the Bernoulli principle will suck the, uh, the lips of the sphincter back in again. It all sounds a bit grim, doesn't it? But it's true. Anyway, let's have a little go. You ready, Pops? Hold on a second and go! All well and good, and that, that's kind of the end of it, you think. But I've got another plan up my sleeve. If I can get this, oh, I'll just have to rip it off. Oh, I can't rip it off, it's too strong. Uh, might need to get you hold on to that, Pops, and I'll see if I can take the tape off because we're running out of light at the same time. Let me take that off there. So basically, we're now going to use this leaf blower to upgrade this whole idea uh, that we made with the hairdryer. So the question is if we use this as the hairdryer, could we put something even stronger into the flow of air? Okay, Pops, you come over here, hold it upright, nice and steady like that, straight up in the air, okay? You ready? Yeah. Nice and careful, all right? And let's turn it on. And that is the Bernoulli principle at work. It's beautiful, it's really complicated, but Poppy did it brilliantly. You're a star. Dr. Pox and me. Uh, come back and see some of our other YouTube videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel if Please you can. Please subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. 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 Bye. Bye. <laughs>